Have you ever felt like you had a closet full of clothes and nothing to wear? Raise his hand. <laughs> I'm going to teach you something today that is going to save you time, take away the overwhelm, and have you feeling confident in your clothes every single day. I'm also going to show you how not feeling confident in your clothes can actually impact every area of your life. But first, I'm Allison Lombatis. I am an entrepreneur, I'm an author, I write a style blog that has millions of followers, I just released the book, The Ultimate Book of Outfit Formulas, and I'm a recovering yoga pants addict. So here's how my story goes. A few years ago, I got the opportunity to work from home, which was a dream come true in so many ways. Um, I mean, as much as throwing in loads of laundry between conference calls can be, but <laughs> you probably know what I mean. So I felt like I was kicking butt at home and kicking butt at my job, but let's rewind for just a second. I spent 14 years as a telecom engineer before I accidentally stumbled down the path of style. And during that time is when I got this opportunity to work from home and I was loving it. I felt like I was kicking butt at my job. I was kicking butt at home. I was there in the morning to kiss my husband goodbye, to see the kids off to school, to pack their lunches. I was able to drive the carpool in the afternoons and it was great for a while but then I started to notice that things started changing and it was really subtle over time but um, you know for instance the closet full of corporate clothes that I used to have was no longer relevant in my life at all um, so I used to you know dress in an office outfit formula of a pencil skirt with a cute blouse and some high heels and I knew how to dress for work but I had no idea how to dress for my new work from home lifestyle so I would default to the same thing every day my faded black yoga pants an oversized sweatshirt, pull my hair back in a ponytail and call it a day. It was what my husband saw me wearing when he kissed me goodbye in the morning and what I had on every afternoon when he got home from work. But hey, bonus points because I wasn't spending time in my pajamas, right? But honestly, I don't know that that would have made a difference because I slid down the slippery slope into my yoga pants rut anyway. And that's what this looked like. So first off, I stopped fixing my hair. Then makeup went out the window because I'm like, my husband loves me anyway, right? I don't need makeup. <laughs> and then, you know, things around the house started to kind of slip. I wasn't cooking healthy meals anymore and I stopped working out. So I started gaining weight and then, you know, piles of laundry were building up and the house was getting messier and more disorganized. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is going on here? Everything felt so chaotic in my life. And I just didn't know how to get a handle on things again. You know, I didn't have energy anymore for date nights or for family fun. And I was just being cranky with my husband and kids. And I just looked in the mirror one day and I said, I don't even recognize myself anymore. Like what has changed? How did I get to this point? And what can I do to make a difference and to make a change and, and, and do something tangible that's gonna make things better? So, that's when I decided that I needed to get dressed in real clothes again. I knew it would be way easier than, you know, cleaning the house or losing the weight. And it was going to take a lot less time. But the problem is when I walked into my closet, I didn't have clothes that worked. The biggest obstacle for women is that we don't have the right pieces in our closet. And if we do, we just don't know how to pair them up. And I used to be a terrible shopper. I will be the first to admit it. I used to go out and buy a big bag of clothes, usually on clearance, because you know, it's a good deal, right? <laughs> and then I'd bring it all home and I would throw it out on my bed and I would look at the pieces and think, gosh, none of this stuff goes together. And I don't think it goes with anything in my closet either. Um, and then I would wake up in the morning, I would walk into my closet and you know, decision fatigue is real. We make what, 35,000 decisions a day? I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. There's a statistic out there. Um, but I would stand there in my closet and I would look at my clothes and think, I don't know what I'm gonna wear today. And I'd be wasting time that I would rather be spending with my kids in the morning or spending with my husband or doing something else, like getting a jump start on my work day because I didn't know what to wear. As an engineer, I knew that there had to be a better way. There had to be some kind of framework or formula. I had to be able to crack the code on getting dressed. And that's how I created my first outfit formula. I started blogging about it and that's when everything honestly changed. 
Now, the point of this vulnerable story that I told you is to show you that it isn't just about clothes. It's about how we feel. It's about our quality of life. And I wanted to be able to create this framework, not just for myself and to make my life easier, but to share this with other women to make a difference in their lives too. And that's why I also wrote my book, The Ultimate Book of Outfit Formulas, because I wanted to give you this same exact framework that I use for getting dressed every day. For the sake of time, we're gonna focus in on one key concept of this framework in the book, and that is called embracing the outfit formula. So I remember my first outfit formula so vividly. It was a day in my life I will truly never forget because it felt really empowering. I realized that I had truly cracked the code on getting dressed every day and that life was never gonna be the same again. My first outfit formula was so simple, it was this a striped top plus jeans plus printed flats plus a bright accessory. So in my case, I wore a striped t-shirt, boyfriend jeans, leopard flats, and a bright red necklace. I remember feeling so cute and put together that day when I made my trip out to Target. And when I posted my outfit picture and formula on the blog, I was completely blown away by the response. Dozens of women commented and posted their own photos with their interpretation of the same outfit formula and Eureka, it worked for every body. No exceptions, every shape, every age, every budget, every body guaranteed. Every woman was able to take the simple formula and make it her own by shopping her closet for the most part, not even having to go out and buy new clothes or by substituting items that she already had. And in some cases, women were able to go out and buy a few new things, but not really needing much. So I was blown away by the creativity and the ways that the women took the outfit formula and were able to interpret it and make it their own. A lot of them had fun with a red accessory by subbing, you know, like a red purse or a pair of red flats for the leopard flats or a red cardigan. They added that little pop of color to their outfits. And it was so inspiring to see that they could take the simple outfit formula prompt and make it their own with their own pieces. It seems so simple, but it was a total game changer and a process that I knew I could easily replicate over and over again. So what is an outfit formula, you ask? Well, it's fun math. <laughs> yes, fun math really does exist. So let's take a deeper dive into the outfit formula. Simply put, it is a combination of pieces that create a complete look. It's much like combining the ingredients in a recipe to create a meal. However, unlike meal planning, you can take liberties with the ingredients without totally ruining the dish, or in this case, the outfit. If you think about this formula in mathematical terms, it is meant to be evaluated. It starts with the basic variables of any outfit formula, which is gonna be your bottoms, tops, topper, shoes, and accessories. So we have five variables in an outfit formula. Here is a simple example of an outfit formula along with a few variations. So you can see that each option here still includes the variable of jeans, t-shirt, cardigan, and flats but the details of each piece vary to create completely different looks. And you can see that through these examples. So when you consider an outfit formula, look at your closet for your specific values. What bottoms, tops, toppers, shoes, and accessories do you have? And then your outfit options become endless. I promise you, you will never walk into your closet and say that you have nothing to wear ever again. So shortly after sharing this realization with my blog followers, they begged me to do this on a seasonal basis. And really this is how the idea for outfit formulas was born. So for the past seven years, I have been creating seasonal capsule wardrobes with the outfit formulas concept. I give women a shopping list of items. They can go out to stores that they love to shop at, working within their budget, finding pieces that fit their body type, or they can just go through their closet and check off the pieces on the list that they already have. Once they have those pieces, then I show them at least five different ways that they're going to pair up each piece on the list in an outfit formula. And I love seeing how the women take these formula prompts, the substitutions, and really truly make the outfits their own. Although they're also welcome to just take the literal outfit formula off the page and make it happen in real life. In the past seven years, I have helped over 98,000 women in 25 countries get dressed every day with this foolproof outfit formula framework. Okay, so maybe math isn't your thing. That would be me. <laughs> maybe food is. Now we're speaking my love language. So let's apply the analogy of meal planning for your closet. I know it sounds crazy, but just stick with me for a minute, all right? So get, to get started for each season of outfit formulas, 
I give you a shopping list of ingredients or wardrobe items for that season. So you're gonna check your pantry, your fridge, and your spice cabinet. In this case, you're gonna have your staples in your pantry, your perishables are in your refrigerator, and your spices, well, those are gonna be in the spice cabinet because they spice things up, right? Okay, so in our analogy, your closet staples are gonna be the things in your pantry or in your closet because these are your items that you can wear year round, season after season, year after year. Your perishables or your refrigerated items are the seasonal trends. So these are the things that aren't gonna stick around forever. And then your spices are gonna be your accessories because, well, they kind of spice things out. See what I did there? <laughs> All right, so you're gonna check off anything you already have on your list, and then you're gonna to go to the store or you're gonna shop online to fill in the blanks. You're welcome to shop where you want, spend or as much or as little as you want, and armed with that list, you're gonna head into the store and not get completely distracted by everything around you. No more, you know, one wandering around the store, wondering what to buy. You're gonna know exactly what to buy because it's gonna be right there on your list. And that, my friend, is what I call shopping with a purpose. All right, so once the shopping list is complete, then you get to combine your ingredients. You just follow the formula prompts to create the perfect outfit recipe. And don't forget to sprinkle generously with your favorite accessories to spice it up. See, easy peasy. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna do something really fun. This is one of my favorite things to do. So this is what I call a speed styling session. I am going to take some pieces from my own closet and I'm gonna show you outfit formulas in action. The cool thing about this is you can totally do this at home. You're gonna just pull some pieces out similar to mine and start pairing them up into outfit formulas. So are you ready? Let's get started. All right, my friend, now it's time for us to have some fun. So we're gonna go through the process of creating outfit formulas from pieces in our closet. And I wanna show you just how quick and easy this is to do. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out a few pairs of bottoms, some tops, some toppers, some shoes and accessories, and we're gonna start pairing them up. So I'm gonna show you what I'm starting with here. I've got three bottoms. We have a leopard print skirt, we've got a pair of black jeans, and we have a pair of denim jeans. So I want you to know that because your outfit formulas are created from variables, your bottoms could be anything. They could be a black skirt, they could be a denim skirt, they could be leopard pants, whatever you want them to be, it doesn't matter. Next up, I've got a dress here because there's nothing easier than getting dressed in a one piece item and dresses are incredibly versatile. So we have a black t-shirt dress. For our tops, we have the following. I've got a striped top, I have a graphic t-shirt, and I have a chambray button down. Again, if you wanted to do this dress here, you could absolutely do a striped blouse, you could do an Oxford button down, and you could do something in place of the graphic tee as well. Lastly, we have our toppers. We've got a black leather moto jacket. You could sub a black blazer or a black cardigan for this. We have a basic khaki blazer. Again, you could sub a tan colored cardigan for this if you wanted to. And lastly, we have our denim jacket. All right, so onto our shoes. For the purposes of this exercise, we have three types of shoes represented. So first off, I've got shoes in the leopard category. We have flats and we have a little block heel sandal. We have some bright pop of color shoes. So our pop of color is red and we're gonna have these mules and these little block heels represented. And lastly, we've got a fun pair of casual kicks. If you don't have some white sneakers yet, I highly recommend that you get a pair. All right, let's get started. So as you're doing this, what I want you to do is I want you to take these pieces and create the combos and lay them out either on the floor or on your bed and take a photo of them so that you have them to refer back to. That way, when you're trying to decide what to wear, when you're in a hurry and you're not exactly sure what you wanna put on, then you can pull up this folder on your phone, scroll through the outfit photos and pick one out quickly and easily. So every time we create an outfit formula, we're always gonna start with our bottoms. So let's start with our black jeans and see how many ways we can pair them up. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is add our striped top. Then we're gonna grab our topper. Let's do our denim jacket. There we go. Black jean striped top denim jacket. And let's add in our fun little casual sneakers. That is outfit number one. We're gonna continue on with the bottoms until we exhaust them with the pieces on the rack. So again, we're gonna start with the black jeans. We're gonna pull out that graphic tee, which is super cute. We're gonna throw on the 
black moto jacket with that. And then to make it fun, let's add in some leopard flats. All right, moving on to our next outfit. We're going to take our black jeans and this time we're going to pair them up with our chambray shirt, which is super cute. I love this look. And then we're going to make it a little bit dressier by adding in our khaki jackets. And then we are going to do our, let's see. Oh, let's do something fun here and add a little pop of color with the red mule. There we go. Okay, so our black jeans are exhausted. Now we're gonna move on to our next item, which is our leopard skirt. So the leopard skirt, we can pair up, and I love to do this with the striped top. Yes, you can do pattern mixing. How cute is that? So on top of that, let's do our black moto jacket. And then lastly, we are going to add a fun pop of color to this outfit with the red block heels. Perfect, it's so French, it's so chic. All right, so we're gonna take our leopard skirt now and we're gonna pair it up with our graphic tee, how cute. And let's keep this one so fun. And we're gonna pair that up with something a little more casual. So let's add the denim jacket to the graphic tee and the leopard print skirt. And let's do our sneakers because Skirts and sneakers were meant for each other. Yay. All right. And lastly, we're going to pair up with our leopard print skirt, our chambray shirt. And then we can add our camel blazer. And let's do the pop of color with our red mules. Ta-da. All right. Moving on to our next option which is our regular denim jeans. This time we're gonna pair those up with our striped top. We're going to add our moto jacket for something fun. And then let's do our leopard print flats to add a little bit of fun pattern mixing to that outfit. Okay, now we're gonna pair up our regular denim jeans with our graphic tee. And we're going to add our, we're not going to add our denim jacket because denim on denim only works if your denim colors are a little bit um, different from one another. So you want to do a darker pair of denim jeans with a lighter denim jacket. But we can definitely do this khaki blazer with this. And to keep it casual, we'll add our sneakers. Perfect. All right. And because we're avoiding denim on denim this time, although... The chambray shirt is lighter than the jeans and we definitely could pull off this look. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's do this with this. And we're gonna add our khaki jacket again. And then we're gonna add in some fun red shoes. Perfect, all right. The last piece that we're gonna pair up here, and I should mention accessories while I'm at it because I'm not pairing accessories with these, but you are definitely more than welcome to pair up accessories as you go through this exercise and take your picture with those um, in there. For the sake of time, I'm not gonna do that today. But lastly, we're gonna pair up this dress and let's pull out, ooh, let's dress it up first. We can do it with the black moto jacket, we can add in these fun red block heels or the leopard block heel with that to dress it up a little bit. Another fun thing that we can do with this dress is we can actually pair it up with the chambray shirt over it and then tie the hem up on the chambray shirt and add in the fun little kicks. How cute. All right. Now we're gonna pair it up with the denim jacket and we're gonna add in some leopard print flats. And just for fun, we could also pair this dress up with the camel jacket and add in the leopard heel. Ta-da, easy peasy. Did you lose track of how many outfits we created? Because I did. But this is just to prove to you how easy this is. Let's count how many pieces we have on this wrap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 pieces, that's it, and three different types of shoes represented. Once you start this, I promise you, you're gonna become addicted to it, start pulling a 
pair of bottoms out of your closet and pair them up in every single way possible. Take pictures. And again, I promise you, you are never going to wonder what to wear again because you're going to have a multitude of options that are already right there in your closet. Did you lose track of how many outfit combos I created? Because I did, but that is the power of outfit formulas. You will have so many mix and match outfit combos that you're never going to wonder what to wear again. So let's do a quick recap of everything we learned today. So number one, we are going to that's right, embrace the outfit formula. Number two, we are going to shop our closet to create looks. And number three, we are going to take pictures of our outfit combos or selfies in the mirror of us wearing our outfits so that we can always refer back to them on our phone and we know what we're gonna wear every single day. All right, so, you know, there is life-changing power in this concept. And I have heard from countless women, especially during the pandemic that Getting dressed was one of the things they felt like they had control over, and it was one of the things that they look forward to on a daily basis. And I just love that this is such a simple thing that we can do that really truly has an impact on our motivation, on our confidence levels. External changes have internal effects, and there's nothing more powerful than, you know, or easy than getting dressed on a daily basis in order to do that. So in case you're wondering why my platform is called Get Your Pretty On, I want to tell you the story on that first day back when i put on that very first outfit formula i went to pick up my daughter at school in the afternoon and she hopped in the car and she looked at me she did one of those little once overs like you know kids do and i said what and she said mommy what happened to you i, I don't know why honey <laughs> because you look pretty today <sighs> did your heart melt a little because mine did I realized in that moment that what I was doing wasn't just affecting me, that I was a role model for my daughters and I was showing them what it meant to be a mom and what it meant to take care of myself. From that day forward, I have made it my goal mostly every day <laughs> to get dressed in real clothes and to keep myself accountable for that because I want to show them that they can be happy and they can be happy moms too and showing up as your best self is a big part of that. I mean, what better example to set for them than that? So I wanna leave you with this though. You have big things in this world to do too. Whether you realize it or not, you're making the impact in someone's life, whether it's your kids, your spouse, people who live in your household, or you're impacting the lives of hundreds or thousands of others. I want you to show up as the best version of yourself Feeling confident in your clothes is a powerful way to do that. Thank you.